Welcome, welcome boys. In this video we're going to be replacing the stamped steel crank pulley with this nice shiny EMPI polished aluminum with laser engraving top dead center, bottom dead center, and degrees of engine rotation. We also have a nice shiny chrome bolt and washer numbers if you want them and then we're going to use this to put on the back side to lock the engine in place over here with the flywheel so we'll be able to bolt that thing in there so that thing doesn't move <clears throat> we're going to try to rotate this off this is a 30 millimeter I'm assuming that's what the new one is I guess we'll find out soon enough and then I have the six inch puller that we'll be using to grip this and help pull it off so what we're going to do is lock the engine in place i'm going to back this thing off as far as it'll go <clears throat> and then uh we'll try to use this to pull this out and then i will have i'm going to boil this thing and then that'll create a temperature differential enough that when this swells up it should slide right on there and i can put the new bolt on and torque to spec so let's get her done Okay, so we now have this thing locked in a place on the back. You may have to uh, adjust to get the teeth where they need to be so that this bolt can go through there into that weird round sleeve looking thing. And then this can lock the flywheel enough to crank into place. And so start to rotate on this block of wood I have a second. During the four years question the truth, open statement cross examination, and if an appellant chose to testify, he would not even be allowed to testify to the facts that are shown to be expensive. I guess you can't blame the prosecution for asking, but you can't blame the judge for granting some silly motion. Appellant's own testimony again was excluded if it addressed his own defense. Despite a complete lack of testimony to support the state's motion, the trial court agreed with the state and ordered appellant to comply with that motion. All right. So if this goes in here, I won't be able to put the pulp back in. So uh, that looks like that'll work. If this wouldn't have worked, you could put the bolt back in with a couple threads, and then this presses against the bolt and kind of pulls it out. But uh, we'll try this first, I think. This might take a while. Maybe I should. I'm going to actually put this in just a few plants. A few threads. I 
Easy. Okay, it should be noted <coughs> this pulley is significantly shorter than my stamp steel one. So, <coughs> I'm gonna use the belt. Hopefully, I can use the belt. I did just buy a new factory belt. It works properly. <laughs> may have to use more shims to get the belt higher up out of the channel, but it could be maybe the belt sits higher up in the small pillar. We don't know. We're going to find out. But this... This fits on there pretty well. Well enough, but... We're going to boil it, and then we'll come back and slide it on there. Alright boys, we're boiling. Let's take it on. Take it out of here and slip it on the car. how easy that was. Okay boys, 33 foot-pounds of torque. This pin is actually rubbing on the back side of this. And on this side, it's, it's damn near touching this. So I'm going to use some tin snips to cut this down. I think we're going to have to do that. Alright, so I went with my tin snips and cut the tin so that it doesn't protrude further than here. So now we'll put it back on again. Wet Kiki. Don't get your little white mittens wet. I know you have mittens. Your mittens. Alright, now retorque to 33 foot pounds. Where do you go?
technically it's a crime, but, you know, little kids don't get arrested for crimes in small towns. So I thought, you know, the easiest way around this is to get a P.O. box. So I got a P.O. box of Bad Axe, Michigan. So if you want to send me a letter back, then you'd send it to my P.O. box, Bad Axe, Michigan, 48413, I think. I think that's right. And uh, one day, All right. at the radio station, we're good. I walk into the studio and pinned to the bulletin board is a letter addressed to Steve Lato. P.O. Box, Bad Axe, Michigan, 4841. Alright, boys, and that's it. Now, the only other thing is there's this weird uh, round uh, thingamajig that comes with this. And I'm assuming that's some sort of spacer that's used for the alternator pulley. I guess maybe this. Needs to be offset like this or something. I, I'm not really sure. I don't know what this is for. But I guess after I put the other pulley on, we'll see if uh, it goes it somehow goes on the other side of the nut or something. But we'll see. All right. Hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, boys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.